All right. Hi, everybody. Randy Dean, the email sanity expert. And I'm going to do something fun here for everybody today. I'm going to try to see how many quick tips I can get in five minutes for productivity and efficiency. And I've even got an alarm set on my phone to tell me when I should stop talking. Now, you're probably wondering, why did he set this thing up in PowerPoint management mode? Well, I want to show you, actually, the first tip is a PowerPoint tip. Did you know that if you want to quickly go from PowerPoint management mode to presentation mode and you're in the PowerPoint management screen, rather than mousing up here to slideshow, you can just do a quick little keyboard combo, hold down the shift key, hold down the function key and hit F5. Boom, now you're in the PowerPoint. Now that once again, if you didn't catch that real quick, was shift function F5. Wait, we got another tip. Let's go into Microsoft Outlook. I want to show you a really cool Outlook filing tip. So let's go into my Outlook, jealous of my inbox, but let's say you have an email and you put it into a client or other folder. And then you realize, wait, I should put this email in there too. Watch this, you can do a right click, come down to move when you do a right click and whatever folders you've been in most recently will be right here, boom, it's gone. And of course, if I do a control Z, I'll bring the email right back if I realize I shouldn't have put it there in the first place. Wait a second, let's go back to this. Let's talk about the changes since I did an Outlook tip. It's only fair that I do a Gmail tip. Did you notice the new change? There's a new change, take a look at this. Notice that I just noticed this in the last few days. Here's my inbox, once again, jealous, but take a look at this. This is Gmail in the Chrome browser. Did you notice the buttons? These have been, a couple of these have been here for a while. Calendar, Keep, which is their notepad, Tasks, and here's the one they just added, Contacts. That one hasn't been there. They finally added it. Wait a second. Email, calendar, contacts, tasks, and notes. Oh, and by the way, since we're in here, go into your three dots, hit navigation options. You can turn off compact navigation, hit OK, and then you can actually have the words if you prefer. Your choice. Now let's go back to this though, because I wanna show you something else here. Watch this. If you open up calendar or keep, take a look, you can come up here. That was funny, failed to load you can hit this little widget right here, which is to open it in a new tab. And that opens up that item in a full page panel. Hold that thought for a minute because I'm gonna come back down here and I wanna talk about something. Do you have multiple monitors? How many of you have more than one monitor for your primary workstation? If you do, I've got something for you to realize. Watch this. I'm going to pop back up here and let's say I'm a Gmail and Google Calendar user primarily and I have two monitors. Well, wait a second. Since I've got Gmail in one tab and Calendar in the other, just pick up that second tab, drag it over that second monitor. And then you could have Calendar on one screen, email on the other, and notice that in both Calendar and Gmail, you could see your task list down the side. Oh, so that means you can see at one time, anytime, email, calendar, and tasks. Wait a second, though. We've got Outlook users out here. Randy, what if I want to do the same thing on my multiple monitors? Bet you might not know this trick. I've got my email open on this panel. Let's say I want to see calendar on the next panel. Right click, open in new window. Boom. And now I can take that new window and drag that to a second monitor too. Cool, okay, but wait, wait, there's a little bit more here. Let's see, what else do we got in here? How about multitasking? You doing a lot of multitasking? Hey, by the way, you, you remember that was a shift function F5. Watch this. Let's say I'm doing some multitasking, which is making me jump from in between my PowerPoint and my Outlook and my Edge browser. Did you know you can pick that up and move it over so that it's right next to the files that you're actively using? And if I'm not using Chrome, maybe I wanna move that over here, or actually I'm using Chrome a lot. Maybe I should move it all the way up. Very cool. Now let's do one more thing. Also notice this, that if you have open tabs in your browser, you can come in here and do this. This is my final tip. Hey, that's me telling me to stop talking. Watch this you can actually take your browser tabs and move those around too. 
and I'm out of time. Did I give you way too many tips for a five minute little video? Well, let's do this. I'm gonna finish this up. Once again, this is Randy Dean. Looking forward to see many of you at upcoming live events. And by the way, hey, if you want to get a whole sheet of tips, send me an email, randy at randalldean.com. I'll send you a whole bunch of PDF tip sheets with links to some of my YouTube videos. And I'll put this video on my YouTube channel too, why not? So you can see it again if I did that a little fast. Thanks everybody.